Hey you guys, it's Lindsay Davis here. I want to talk to you about documentary photography, which is my passion, and lens baby lenses, and which of those lenses I prefer to shoot documentary with and why. Um, I've had a lot of questions about that in the last few months, so I figure we'll just do a video and answer those questions. First though, I wanna talk about moment-driven documentary photography and when versus when you compose and wait. So moment driven is where you're just there and you're following the action and you're waiting for a moment to happen, whether it's a loud moment, a quiet moment, happy, whatever. It can be loud, it can be quiet, uh, just some type of moment to happen. And that's when you begin shooting and you shoot through the moment. So, or there is when you compose and wait. So say you see pretty light, and you think somebody may be coming through the frame at some point it would, where that light is. And so you compose and you wait for your subjects to enter your frame that way. Uh, so with those two different types of shooting, there's two different ways that you, two different kind of styles of lenses that would work for either one. So I wanna talk a little bit about that. Also the lenses that have a fixed aperture or a fixed and or a fixed focus are great for documentary because you're taking out all those variables. And that's where you're gonna miss a lot of shots if you have too many variables, if you're just getting started. So let's start talking about lenses. The Velvet 28 is a 28 millimeter lens. It has an aperture from, let's see, 2.5 all the way up to 22. And with my documentary shots, I prefer to shoot anywhere between 4.0 to however high, maybe even 11 sometimes, just depending on what all I have, how many layers I have in the frame that I want in focus. So I really like this image. Whenever you, so like, let's say at 2.5, this lens is gonna be very soft, almost like a glowy look to your image. But then when you're up at like 11 or even let's say five, you're going to, or 5.6, it's gonna get more crisp as you go up. So I like this lens. This is great for landscape, documentary, um, macro. This is a macro compatible lens. I love this lens for macro. Um, and street photography. That was the other one I was thinking of. So this is a great documentary lens. The next lens I wanna talk about is a wonderful lens if you are just getting started with Lens Baby. So this is the Soul 45, a 45 millimeter lens, and it has a fixed aperture of 3.5. And it has a little bit of a tilt. Let's see. So you can see it has a little bit of a tilt. It's not, and then you can find your, where you want focus to be in your frame and then you can lock it into place. You can still adjust where that focus is going to fall in your frame, but you're just not gonna move the direction of the focus anymore. So you have your focus locked in, you can still turn this to dial, it, dial in your focus. And then what's cool about this lens, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able, okay, yeah. You see those two little things, here's one and <laughs> here's the other one, sorry. Um, you can move these little bokeh blades and it creates really cool bokeh effects in camera. So this is a really nice lens if you're just getting started and you want a little bit, a little bit of a tilt in your, um, just to kind of get started in that, this is a great lens for that. Next, let's see, let's talk about the Burnside 35. I really like the shoot wide. So the 35 is another great option for documentary. Um, this is the Burnside 35. It gives like a, a swirl effect around your center focus. Uh, it is, let's see, it goes your aperture from, sorry, I don't, okay. 2.8 to 16. And you can also adjust the vignette on this. So it can have a darker vignette or um, more regular. I do like this lens. Um, this is actually, I wanna say maybe the first lens baby lens I ever bought. So, let 
the next thing on the list is the Composer Pro 2, which is this little thing. And you, this is a major tilt. So you can move, you can, your slice of focus can be anywhere in the frame with this. This, I don't know that I would suggest this for someone who's just starting out with lens baby lenses and dirt and their shooting documentary, because you have a lot of option to completely miss focus on when you're doing the tilt, if you have fast moving, fast moving subjects. Now, if you're going to do the compose and wait, totally fine for that. But if you're a moment driven shooter, like I am, I, I love this lens now, or this can, the whole little setup now because I'm I'm okay with missing focus and I'm not as a rule follower as I once was. So anyway, what's cool about this is, is you can take out the optics in it and you can swap out optics. So I have a 35, um, an edge 35 in here. I'm gonna take that out. And I'm going to swap it for a sweet 50. So kind of think like a nifty 50. So that's just going to lock into place here, super easy. And then once this is on your camera, you can move your focus all around. Again, all lens baby lenses are manual focus lenses. So, um, and the sweet 50 goes from 2.5 to 22 as well. So this one I was, is great for portraits, for um, detail shots. I'm gonna put the 35 back in. Okay, and the 35 goes from 3.5 aperture to an aperture of 22. And again, you can move focus around that slice of focus anywhere in your frame that you want it, which is super fun lens. I really love this lens. I've been using it a lot lately. Uh, let's see, what's our other one? Oh, okay, now this one I say for last because it's my favorite. Uh, and it is on my camera now and it stays on my camera a lot. It is the um, Trio 28 and it's such a cool little lens. Okay, it is only for mirrorless cameras. And this is what's one of the parts that's really cool about this lens. It's a three FX in one. I'm trying to get it lined up here so you can see. Okay, so you can turn this little dial on the front and it's gonna go from a velvet effect to a sweet spot effect and then to the twist effect like on the burn side. So this is a pancake design, super lightweight. It's great for traveling. It's great for landscape, street photography, documentary photography. Your focus is fixed on this, um, so there's no tilting. You know right where your focus is going to be in the frame, and all you have to do is dial in the focus like this. Love this lens. I cannot recommend it enough uh, if you have a mirrorless camera. Also, this lens does magical things with light where it looks like golden hour in any light, so um, I highly recommend that. I absolutely love it. Um, Was, was there any, oh, I did, I knew there was something else. My, the Omni filter system, I'm gonna show you a couple of my favorite, um, not my favorite lenses, my favorite wands with that. This is the multicolor crystal wand. And if, I'm gonna pull it up here so you can see kind of what it does. And then, Sorry, my kids are, I hope you, my kids are, I think dinner just arrived. Anyway, um, so this wand, if you look at some of my recent work, you will see, or actually I'll put it in the video, uh, like the pastel looking landscapes. This is how I'm getting that in, that in camera effect, which is super cool. And you can use the Omni filter system that attaches to your lens. And then this little magnetic piece clips, it just attaches to the front of the little piece. And it, you don't have to hold it with your hand. Whereas a lot of the times though, I will just, if I'm in a hurry, I'll quickly just grab it with my hand and hold it in front of my camera lens. This is my other favorite one. It's just a little plastic um, 
filter, which is really cool. And this is why mine needs to be clean. See how that, um, sorry, how that does in the light. And I'm just slowly twisting it so you can see how that affects the light. Anyway, it gives a little cool rainbow effect. So I really like this one as well. I think that is all of them, guys. Um, don't worry about missing focus. You, if you know you have fast mo moving subjects, um, I've really learned to let go and just play and have fun. And I think play is vital, and that keeps us from burning out. Uh, Lens Baby Lenses has really helped me this past year with getting out of a rut and just learning or remembering to play and have fun and just enjoy the process. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to help you figure out if there's a Lens Baby lens that you're interested. If you're completely new to Lens Baby and you have